I also need to equip me. Equip best. And hard grow wrist. Talk to Don Dahlia. Don! Hey, Minnie. Looks like you got a new owner. You better be real thankful for him. Well, you guys again, sorry to disappoint, but I don't sell anything illegal anymore. Well, you still sell Phoenix Tales, just at the jacked up price. Yep. We don't have enough for the ticket to heaven. Before we go back to Amira, we got one more thing. Actually, what do the people who talked about the illegal sell Phoenix Tales? Phoenix Tales aren't being sold anymore, but Don Delia is still a boss. But Don still holds power in a town? She sure is tough! Or what Minnie has to say about anyone, everyone else. Donna stopped her illicit sales. I doubt she'll lose any influence around her. We'll have to stay vigilant to keep the peace. But Donna's scary. I wonder whose tail feathers should pull out next time. <laughs> You're still trying to tell that old crap, huh? Done. I've had enough of this town. Maybe it's time to leave it behind. I'm sure that Dawn will start another promising enterprise. It's her chance to show that she can be successful more than once. You're looking for info on smuggling? That'll be 20G. Pay 20G. Alright, I'll tell you why I know. It's totally true that Phoenix Tales are being smuggled in this town. That's all I know. What, you want more? I'm still investigating. Uh, that's it. Information's even out of date now. Supposedly they aren't selling Phoenix Tales anymore. But it's not like they sold me any in the first place. Oh, that's so sad. Would you like one of my tales? I heard the Dawn's Enterprise was shut down by some random travelers. Man. I didn't even think that was possible. Crazy people. Alright, now we can go. Unless, have you got anything else? You're lost, bud. You won't learn anything this time of how Grease and Palms first, right? They already know what you can give. Alright, the Mithra Sealed Castle. It, wow, what is this place? It's all those wheeled pestles with stone monuments on top. Looks like there are words engraved into the monuments too. Oh, I remember this. To mama, that is, my teacher told me about this castle. Long ago, 20 divine weapons were enshrined here. They were created by the goddess, but sealed because of their tremendous power. However, once the great monster wars broke out, they retrieved the divine weapons and put them to use anyway. All well, of them were supposedly lost, but no one knows whether that's true or not. Anyway, even I, the monster lord, barely know anything about this castle. I doubt anyone else knows much about it either. Those divine weapons sound cool, but too bad they aren't here anymore. 
If only we had come here thousands of years ago. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, considering that uh, the ne uh, part three is going to involve time travel, it's not that ridiculous. <laughs> hey, right? There isn't anything of value left in this castle, let alone any legendary divine weapons. I knew it! It is Mithra Castle! What was it doing here? Mithra? Whose castle was this? It dates from ages ago, before even the Great Monster Wars. When the Dark Goddess and I first became aware of Weiner, we share a mutual hostility. Our divine powers are those of infinite creation. In our confrontation, our hostility manifested itself through these powers. It wasn't intentional, but the hostility was embodied in 20 weapons, created through a mixture of light and darkness. Those weapons would have been extremely dangerous had they fell into the wrong hands. Thus, we created this castle and sealed them inside. Ah, I guess uh, Ilias has been doing more propaganda because in the Alice route, Alice says that Ilias created the weapons. And the only way Alice would say that happened is if, uh, is if she, that's all she's heard. <laughs> the castle stood for ages. Then, a millennium ago, my confrontation with the Dark Goddess reached its peak. The Great Monster Wars broke out, and the 20 weapons were seal unsealed. Best our armies waged war with the weapons, and then they were lost. At the end of the wars, not a single one remained. The castle no longer had a purpose and was banished to a void in space-time, yet here it stands. Wow, what a story. It's pretty hard to believe. Yeah. Unless you make it sound like the Stark Goss is your equal. Since you created the world, you must have created her too, right? Uh, uh, y y yeah! Uh, of course! <laughs> I am the goddess, your creator, and all in this world belongs to me. The one I mention is no more than someone I created to keep myself occupied. That's true, then the story you just told doesn't make much sense. Forget everything I said before, or I'll send you straight to hell. At any rate, there's anything value left in the castle now, let alone any divine weapons. Piercing Moon Sphere. Dedicated for the quick. But there's nothing left. An offering? Too bad there's nothing here. Kind of a letdown. Ring World's Magic Staff, dedicated to the Enlightened. There's nothing here. Lying inscription. Gun of Soul How, dedicated to the Firm. Maybe one of them was left at least? Nope. <laughs> Soul Revival Blade, dedicated to the Concealed. Nope, not here either. Chirping Fang, dedicated to the beautiful. Nothing. Foolish Beast Fang, dedicated to the wild. Nothing! Disaster Sentence Greatsword, dedicated to, for the intense. Thunder Retribution Fist, dedicated for the passionate. Dark Thunder Scythe, dedicated for the sharp. Four Ruins Katai, dedicated for the serene. High Lotus Bow, dedicated for the Righteous. Star Rhyme Staff, dedicated for your pure. Power Wave Axe, dedicated for the proud. Godly Club, dedicated for the mighty. Crystal 
Crimson Roar Rapier. Dedicated for the Honorable. Soaring Birds Throwing. Dedicated for the Inquisitive. Flowing Sky Strong Sword. Dedicated for the Fierce. Tremor Sword, dedicated for the Valiant. Whip of the Immortal, dedicated for the Noble. Isn't that the legendary weapon that uh, Daimyokai ends up stealing? Flickering Dust Dagger, dedicated for the Skillful. And that's it. This isn't a divine weapon, is it? It's good for instantly ending battles with dogs. That's it. Nothing else to do here. Alright, let's head back to Mira. Alright, right. the Ilio Phoenix Tail Smiling Ring has been exposed and dismantled. You made quite the debut into the world of information brokering. Congratulations! You've earned this. You can take this to Ely's Temple and access the information job. Your physical strength won't be great, but the conversation skills are handy. Doesn't seem like the job for me. As I promised, the information you're after. A rat monster previously seen around here was spotted to the southeast. Most likely she was headed to Pornop. Pornhof? Huh. That's a village far southeast of here, right? Yes, if you follow the road out of town, you come to a sign pointing the way there. Past the sign, Pornhof is to the east. If you stick to the road, there's no chance you'll get lost on the way. The rabbit we're looking for is there. According to the report, she should be. I don't know why you're looking for her. I wish you best of luck. Alright. We, now we know where we're going. Let's follow that rabbit to Pornhof! Now yeah, then we know where she is, let's head to Pornhof on the double! Oh, a new town! Let's check out their shops while we're there. Alright. Save that for next time. Alright, we know where we're going. Let's follow that rabbit. Alright, oh, you have to go there and find out it's the wrong rabbit. You have to go there and find out it's the wrong rabbit. Which, for the sake of the Sonyos route, I think we're doing now. All you have to do is make it to the town.
We should be able to make it with this. Stick to the road, stick to the road, stick to the road, stick to the road. And made it without incident. Alright. You know where this rabbit is? We'll do the proper story. Uh, Alright, she's in the end. There she is. Damn it, it's a completely different rabbit. She doesn't look anything like the one we're looking for. My appears I'm not who you thought I was. What does the rabbit you're searching for look like? Uh, she has white fur and blue hair. Wearing a cloak and wa a watch? She kind of acts like she's in a rush, too. I can not hear you talking about. I remember hearing about her because she seems strange for a rabbit girl. Supposedly she's been hanging around the Saren Taurus. The investigators there have reported seeing her at least. Taurus, that seems like an appropriate place for someone so mysterious. Alright, let's go! South Taurus we come. So we're clear, it's the one south of Iliusville, not the other Taurus east of here. Let's not forget that Mira's intel was wrong. I'll be satisfied until I give her a piece of my mind. I suppose, but it did lead us in the right direction. I guess we should at least tell her that she was mistaken. Alright, we're going by a phoenix tail. What? Didn't you hear that we can find a lump of iron nearby? We should be able to forge iron equipment if we get a hold of that. And let me better equip before going to ours. I mean, that place is supposedly filled with strange things. Anyway, I'll leave it up to you. Alright, let's buy a harpy feather. Not you. Not you. There we go. So, Mira, your information was garbage. The rabbit and Pora was someone completely different. I can't believe it! My intel has never been wrong! Well, now my reputation as an informa information broker is ruined. If you let me join, perhaps I can make up to you and buy Mira to the party! I'm gonna get rich being with these guys! <laughs> I'll do my best to help out. You got what you meant to say and what you were thinking mixed up. Mira joined the party! Finally! Another party member! I collect information and wait for you at the castle. What castle? Come talk to me whenever you want to find out what I've learned. I keep track of your current objective, our events, you may be interested in, and anything else I pick up on. See you there! Alright. Finally! Another member! For the Sonyalus route! Uh, and she's a level 10 informant. That means she's going to be amazingly useful. Of course, Alice will still be our damage dealer. But she can help Luca talk if not, uh, during boss battles. Yeah, she can praise uh, uh, enemy, provoke uh, enemies. Well, interesting story, stun enemies, make them horny, paralyze them, silence and freeze them. Amira's going to be so useful. But anyway, we'll pick that up next time on the Sanya's Last Route.